In 1961, the small Portuguese defense industry was faced with a war that would last 13 years on three fronts in guerrilla scenarios. Furthermore, with the United Nations imposing an embargo on arms sales to Portugal, it was forced to become virtually self-sufficient. By 1974, when the Carnation Revolution overthrew the dictatorship and led to the end of the war, the country's defense capabilities suddenly and widely exceeded its needs. Over the last four decades, highly skilled professionals with highly advanced technologies have continuously developed this know-how. Today, Portuguese defense industries cover over 100 enterprises that work both for military and civilian purposes, domestic and foreign markets, researching, designing, producing, servicing in all the areas of defense and security. C. Land. Air research and development, software and telecommunications, from textiles to aviation, from molds to unmanned vehicles. A small country with small and medium-sized enterprises doesn't make it big, but does make a difference. Portuguese Defense Industries making the difference.